Welcome back everyone. And today we're gonna take a look if CPU mining is still possible now a few years after everyone transitioned from CPU mining to GPU mining. We have two CPUs here. First one is from Intel and the second one is from AMD. Intel has i7 7700K and AMD has Ryzen 7 1700. Intel works at uh, higher clock speeds but has a lot less cores. It has four cores and eight threads while Ryzen has 8 cores and 16 threads. Now, mining is a little bit different than gaming or doing some other things, because mining is perfect job for a lot of cores and a lot of threads, since it's really paralyzed. Uh, for example, it doesn't matter how many cores you draw it, it, they will all get utilized 100%, while in gaming, most games now use 4 cores and they need just high clock speeds. And now let's take a closer look at Intel i7. i7 gets only $10 in profits per month, which sucks, because it currently costs $330 and you will need a long time to pay it back, about 3 years. While Ryzen 7 gets $27 per month and it has even a little bit lower price than i7 with $300. As you can see here, this is not Ryzen 7 1700, this is Ryzen 7 1700X overclocked at 4 GHz. But the whole Ryzen 7 lineup is basically the same. You have Ryzen 7 1700, which works at 3 GHz, and you have 1700X, by default works at 3.4 GHz, and you have 1800X that works at 3.6 GHz. But every one of them can be overclocked to 4 GHz without any problems or instability. So what coins should you mine with CPU? Well, mostly now every coin has better GPU mining hash rate than with CPU because all of them got updated with new algorithms and maybe you can still mine Monero profitably but as I tested it, it still gets a better hash rate with my GTX 180 Ti and you're just better off investing that extra $300 into better GPU or in some other components than in crazy overkill CPU which you won't be able to use in anything else than in mining unless you do a lot of video editing or fully parallelized software. So my recommendation is if you wanna really go for Intel you don't really need i7 7700K you can just go for the G4560 which will do pretty good job in most of the games especially if you don't need more than 60 or about 80 FPS and if you really wanna go for AMD you don't need anything better than Ryzen 5 and you will still have about extra 100 to 150 dollars left and you can just spend that money on better GPU and maybe upgrade your GTX 160 to 170 or 170 to 180 because you'll have a lot better overall hash rates than spending all that money on the CPU. I hope you learned something new today and see you tomorrow when I make a video where I compare nice hash miner to miner gate because they're both perfect for beginners, easy to use and we're gonna see which one gives you better hash rate and more profits. So yeah, bye and see you soon.